Today we're featuring Georgian concert pianist and respected educator, Dr. Vaktan Kononashvili, and he is performing on IPR's newly renovated 1918 Steinway B piano. So about a year and a half ago, Vaktan made a guest appearance here in Performance Iowa, and he played this piano before its makeover. So what was it like, Vaktan, before the piano was made over? What was it like playing on it? It was not easy to to play. It was you know, c capricious, uh, uh, but of course, now it's totally different. It's like night and day. I think the Steinway is manufacturing today a fantastic instrument. I work on them, I love them. They also make a fantastic, made a fantastic piano that can be restored to an excellent top tier instrument again. So older is not better, but properly restored, a piano that has a lot of structural integrity and engineered well, is a great candidate for restoration. So what we've got here, first off, is uh, at the KUNI studio is a Steinway and Sons 1918 uh, model Steinway B. If we took a close look at the soundboard, there are severe cracks that have been repaired previously and uh, are in need of, of another round of repair, which uh, involves replacement of the soundboard. The bridge also has cracking that's happening along the, the bridge pins which uh, causes enharmonic sounds in individual strings and, and uh, makes it harder to tune and, and uh, inconsistent tone throughout the piano. Also, in the action, the components are extremely worn. There's, there's part of, of, of the action pieces that have a thing called verdigris. It's a, it's a corrosion uh, that keeps the, the pins and the, the action components from, from moving freely like they should. And the only real true repair for that is replacement. In the end, we're going to have an instrument that's uh, even tonally and uh, in playability, and uh, it's, it's gonna be an excellent instrument. Everything was original. The soundboard was original. At one point in time, uh, there, were, there were some repairs done, uh, which, which holds up for some time, but for a piano that's 100 years old, you really struggle to get that dynamic contrast, the tone you want, if you're still working with a 100-year-old soundboard. So that was definitely need to be replaced. Um, also, the pin block, um, that's what keeps the strings in tune. Um, the piano as a whole, it needs to have a solid pin block. So that was replaced as well. And um, also the keys, were original as well, the key sticks, as, as we say. The rest of the inside that you really don't see um, had really de de deteriorated quite a bit. The bushings were, were very worn, uh, to the, too far to really redo. Um, so those were completely replaced with new spruce keys and also the, the action parts as well, the hammers, the repetitions, the shanks, that was all replaced with new. These actions up here are the same idea, new hammer shanks, new repetitions, and um, these keys here are actually for your piano. And these are these are the brand new keys made out of Sitka spruce as well. Um, and they're 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 nearly completed. There's a couple things we have to wait until there's strings on the piano before we can finalize the the completion of the key key set. So it's very close, and, and it um, really really creates a. Not only does it sound new, it feels new. The piano should really, when, you're, when you are performing on it, if you're trained, it should feel transparent. I mean, you shouldn't have to think about what's going on under your fingers. You should just be able to create your art. They shouldn't have to think about mechanical issues. It should just be fluid and transparent. 